journey be across the spaces that divide us, the spaces that confine us, the spaces that define love, call out and make us rise up, the spaces that create us, the spaces we must break up. Latitudes is the space between you and me. of the Ikuleni Metropolitan Municipality, which is situated on Johannesburg's East Rand. Now, Fosloros is very densely populated. There are 150,000 people in this township, 99.8% of whom are black African. Unemployment is a huge problem in Fosloros. Of the people who have jobs, 32% of those people earn less than 3,200 rands a month. Only 8% of those people earn more than 3,200 rands a month. 41% of the working age population in Phosphorus describes themselves as being unemployed. Now, that's like a huge problem, but it's a national problem, right? Another national pastime is a game called Fafi Om China. Now, this is an illegal gambling game that's existed in South Africa for a very long time. It's very popular in Fosloras, like it is in other parts of South Africa. In an environment where unemployment is so rife, I wonder what the implications of having a sport where people can actually win money, you know? What does that mean? So, I want to find out what Fafi is all about. I mean, is it really just a cute game? or is it hardcore gambling or is it a source of income what is the history of it you know and what does it mean to the people here in Fosloras? Fafi is a fairly simple game of chance players are given sheets of paper numbered from 1 to 36 each number is associated with a variety of symbols and once players have selected their numbers they place their bet with a Fafi runner the Fafi runner will then give the bets to the head runner who puts them into a pull purse and takes them to the Chinaman the Chinaman comes twice a day to announce winning numbers and collect the losing bets Ivam Tetra is a widow and a mother of three she's unemployed and she works as a Fafi runner, which means that she coordinates the whole Fafi game, probably for this block, you know, here in Fosloras. So I want to find out from her, like, how does it work? What is her job actually as a runner? And what is the process? How does this game actually work? How do people in this community bet their money? And what happens? What goes down? Dumela, really gay? Everything <laughs> for um China. Yo, so it means for how the head runner like ose betsa jwang wetsa o tshwane tsho go wetsa dintho tse feng le tse feng how the head ma u head runner go shoot u ya dlala u bisa abantu go shoot nge lucky abantu ba yang thanda ba bonile ba kheta mina um china se sometimes la a2 extension 2 but last nga tsotsa go no um china ga eva la um china manga posisi la una 10 years or 11 years mm. So it means because or at work about to get at work about to a whole. Okay, so but 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 when a whole time, but but when a China, but Kulegi le, hola twenty rand every Monday. Twenty rand every Monday. Hola, it twenty rand. Ma, who did you say I na joanka twenty rand? Ngomba, but you China maybe ba mengi ten rand. 
twenty rand in Ninglo Madinga Samuti, Bakulis, Bakuli, how? I'm you know, when people talk about gambling, I always think it's like some shady thing, like, like not even shady, but really destructive. You know, gambling is addictive. People waste a lot of money on it. It destroys families. It destroys people's lives, you know. But I go into this home, and I see a beautiful home. I see, you know, the, even, even inside, the place is beautiful, inside and out. This is like a... Uh, a proper home. It looks like this is a place where there's like values and stability and you know, like like real people. So I think it's interesting that in this particular context, gambling is actually something that can be used to like help people, you know, to help people take their lives forward and to help people to survive. When a player chooses a winning number, they get 28 times the amount of money that they originally bet. I want to know more about how people choose their numbers and what symbols the different numbers are associated with. I'm going to speak to Ntabiseng Gabashala and find out how she chooses her numbers. <laughs> Now, I feel how Morning, Willie. Mm. Yeah, jump a more happy. Get home, get six. Get twenty five, get big house. The damn money. The drink, get thirty four, but come a sip. I have to know a number one. Okay. Seven, no shop. Umlali. Okay. What I get a no longer a law, Rawin. We am China. So to the church has your adam to see. How to honor valley, number some China. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They know the numbers, they know what to look for, they know how to interpret their dreams, they know how to see things and see numbers in things. I don't know that. My Metabi Singh says I must take my time, I must start small, I must play little by little, I must teach myself the system, and then, when I know what's actually going on, then I can play with like that oomph, you know, and then I'll win.
I need some more information about the history of Fafi and like the context of Fafi in this country. So I'm going to speak to Detlev Krecher, who is a PhD candidate here at Wits University. Now he's done research on Fafi. Part of his thesis is about Fafi. Sure, you know? sure. So how old is Fafi in South Africa? Do you know? It's very difficult to, to determine because uh, there's obviously a lack of historical records, mainly because it's an informal game. Uh, it came with Chinese labor immigrants. Why do you think people felt like, you know, this thing, this thing really spoke to them yeah. and hung on to it for so long? I think it was, uh, you know, one can sort of explain it on various levels. I'm sure there's, there, might, there might be a, a religious or spiritual dimension to it. And I think that's linked to the, the fact that all the numbers, it's got a meaning, and then those meanings are usually linked to dreams. But I think increasingly today, at least for the Fafi runners that, that I interviewed, they very often talked about Fafi as being a form of employment. Mm -hmm. And Fafi, in a sense, it structures your, your day. I mean, you, as a runner, you get up in the morning, you know that at 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock there are going to be pools at a specific bank. So in a se and then in the morning and in the afternoon you go around to all your different clients, um, collect bettings from them, and then you go to the, you know, at those times you go to the bank. How does the Chinaman know what the winning number for the day is? Does he come to the bank already having decided what the winning number for the day is? And is the winning number for, like, is there one winning number for Joburg? Or is there a winning number for South Africa? Or is there a winning number for a particular township? Yeah. How does that work? It depends on, on, on every game. Uh -huh. For instance, uh, in, in many of the townships, you have um, several Chinamen operating. There might be 10 different Chinamen in, in Soweto. And each of them may, w will have uh, seven or eight different banks. So they'll, ha they'll go to all seven um, different banks, banks yeah. twice a day. Okay. And it's up to that individual Chinaman who controls, and they call him the banker. Okay. That, that banker will then decide the winning number for, for each game. Like how off the top of his head or from a dream or is there like a standard number? Does he get it from the Chinaman Association? <laughs> Where does it come from? Well, no one is exactly sure how the Chinaman chooses the winning number. Yeah. And in fact, that that aspect of the game is one of the reasons why I think it's popular also yeah. with players. Because there's a whole sort of system of, of beliefs um, whereby runners believe that they can in fact influence the Chinaman in, pick, in, in how he picks the winning number. Mm. For instance, a Chinaman, um, there's a woman um, who walks around with a large hat uh, five minutes before the Chinaman drives past in her street. Um, and by wearing the big hat, she hopes to influence the Chinaman. She hopes that she will sort of suggest to him that he must pull the, the number that is yeah, linked to large hat. Okay. And of course she placed money on the large hat. On the large hat. Do you know how much money is involved in this? Utingo estimated that in fact there might be a daily turnover of 20 million in South Africa. From Fafi? Yeah. But how reliable that it is, is, is very difficult to do. 20 determine. million from Fafi, that's nationally. Nationally. 20 million rand a day coming from people who are poor, coming from the unemployed and working class people. This is money that the government will never see. This is money that is totally, completely a part of the informal economy. And it's so much. Um, I also found it very interesting that he said that Fafi gives people's lives like a deeper sense of meaning, you know? People get to be a part of a social structure, get to be a part of an economic hierarchy, get to be a part of a community, get to be, um, get to have a routine in their, in their day, you know? A routine in their lives, get to be a part of a community where you can talk about dreams and symbols in your life that give your life meaning. Um, I think that that's quite powerful, that the meaning goes beyond just being able to make money because for a lot of people i mean obviously it's it, it, it a lot of people who play are in economic dire straits so it is about survival but it's also about something else I get the theory and the history of Fafi, but I don't think it's possible for me to truly understand Fafi unless I play. But I need help picking my numbers based on my dreams and the symbols I've seen. 
Baba Dumagote and Baba Dengane are two regular players who understand how important dreams are in Fafi. Hopefully, they'll be able to help me choose the winning number. I saw one of Yeah, what's going on? Let's call it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. How's that? How's that? How's that? Or a number how based on Dora how you are Yeah. Eh, can it? Eh, Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when are you going to the how? Eh, the Dora's are going to go to the Every day. Yeah, we should every day. Why take it to Rin to you? Why not? Why not leave Pampiri? Yeah, yeah, the Dora. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? So 15. Eh? Mm, I'm 15 is a melanin. Or 14 is a melanin. Hmm, motor. Yeah. Okay. When I was so, I was born or not, I was born or not. 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 I was born or Who's the energy? Who's Chablis? I want to work on Japan. Who's the king? My I was to tell you, my Pelen. Hey, I'll tell you, I'll Eric is all one lomo, and then this part, man, mla la le kamuhara throat. Kitet, kitet. Eric is twenty-four. Yeah, one lomo nuti. Litet. Inshallah, then daughter. Inshallah, we want to put them in the car. Inshallah, then daughter. Okay. Kito zala number three, three, one round each. Right. Mm. 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 Oh, and I Kids are 16. Go. Baba Dengani, kids are 16. 30. Kids are 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 30. Person one. When the person wins, they take the the they 
When the person wins, they take this kwama and they throw it up and they put it in the air. And when everybody loses, they hoi it onto the floor. So that's what happened. They just threw the one lady who won. They threw her her kwama. And then everybody else, they threw them on the floor because all of us lost. Who is Lemang? Who is Lemang? Ah! I'm going to go find out from Mama Nomvula how, what happens now? How does this whole thing work? Mama Nomvula. Hey, Kiluzi. Lose. Sixteen. Seven. Seven. Mm. And we're like seven. Yes. Seven king. Yeah. And I got it. Hey, and I got it. So, how much are you losing? What's Nothing. I get 24. You know this. I see M. Finish. Ah. Here, which is AM China. 20 rand. Every Monday. Every Monday. It was amazing to see because the street gets packed. It's full, 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 full of people. And not just because of the cameras, like genuinely people were coming out. That bag, her pool bag was full of numbers, you know? And then the best part was when China came. He comes in this big, like juicy, big 4x4 car and he's got like these steel plated windows and there's this little window that opens like a bank teller, you know, some bulletproof glass and two Chinese guys sitting there and they don't say anything, you know, they just pull out the numbers and they show you and they take the bags and they take the money and they give you money and, but there's no words and they're just there behind their like glass, you know, like, yeah. it's very, it's, it's very interesting. Now I had no idea that there's this life happening, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. People have fun. Love is more than a game. It's like an institution. It gives people's lives meaning and a sense of community and a structure and money, ultimately. I mean, that's the whole point. I didn't meet people whose lives were falling apart because of Fafi. It is an illegal gambling game, but it's not like other forms of gambling. I didn't meet people who were taking money out of their children's mouths in order to be able to play Fafi or who were taking from school fees or electricity bills or anything like that. I met people who were using the money that they were able to get from this game to help themselves and to help their family and to take, you know, the lives of the people they care about forward. If anything, the only bad thing that I saw about this game is the fact that ultimately the people who benefit from the millions and millions and millions of rands that are generated by Fafi don't live in this community. The money exits this community in those bulletproof cars and the people who spend all their money on the game don't benefit from it. But, you know, um, I think that the thing that's really interesting to me is that this game combines so many different elements. I mean, there's elements of mysticism and dreams and ancestry, elements of community and money. And, you know, it's really interesting and it's so vibrant and so dynamic. Um, and I guess ultimately, you know, Fafi just reflects the nature of life. You know, life has its ups and downs. You wake up one day, you feel great. You wake up the next day, you feel bad. And, you know, you keep waking up, you keep going, because you know that life has its ups and downs, and you know that your luck will change. I keep score in life's game to inject destiny with juice. SMS the ancestors to make my dreams bulletproof. First world trappings caught me napping, so to the Chinaman's promise I will heed. He is the fuel and the muse that brings the food that I need. When these scents reincarnate into success and finery, what number will the rebirth be that makes me forget this poverty? <laughs>